Hey guys, what's going on? Mogati here. So today we're going to be talking about a good starter build. So this is kind of a gear guide for, for lower levels, for beginners. Not really for beginners, but for those that are kind of still starting out. And so I'm on my alt right now, my alternate account Super Moga. And we're going to check out his his gear set. So I really recommend this, sort of. I mean, you can make some... This set really uh, focuses on crit rate and crit damage. And the reason for this is because, in my opinion, this is just personal preference, but in my opinion, you should really be focusing on quest mode more than PvP aspects like Battlefield and well, PvP and stuff like that in the beginning. So having a lot of crit rate and crit damage really, really helps you in quest mode. And you can do really well there and three-star your places without too much trouble. So this gear has a total stats of, hold on, let me see. Just the gear alone has 60% crit rate, 76% crit damage, 18% uh, crit reduction, five siphon and seven hit rate, although the those last three stats don't really matter too much. I do recommend going mainly for quality 22 gear because it's much easier to refine and there are actually a lot more stuff that has better at early refine levels. I'm really mainly going for the Hades armor instead of say the Hellfire armor even though it gives less crit damage, the Hades armor, but it does have that cooldown reduction and that cooldown reduction also works for the Boric Smash. And Boric is a pet you want to get as early as possible. He is excellent for everything. PvP, uh, questing, uh, awesome boss killer Boric, so... That's why I chose Hades armor in early game. Basically just for the uh, cooldown of his smash, so you can smash like every 3 seconds or something, so that's really awesome. The weapon, I'm really mainly going for, see Soul Void Pain is actually pretty good too, it has some crit damage in there. And really the only reason I'm going for the Neptune weapon is because it you get really early access to it. But Neptune weapon is actually mainly better for PvP, which I'm not really focused on, especially not yet. And I think I will be going for the Hades Helm a bit later, but at the moment the Dragon Helm has more to offer. So 12 cr uh, critical hit rate and 18% critical hit damage, since I can't even refine the helm past 4 right now. By the way, I just want to say those stats that I told you earlier, those if everything is at refine 6, so keep that in mind. And just to show you guys, this set is really awesome because, as you can see, every map 3 starred, and actually I 3 starred them first try, so really really great for quest, and like I said, it's what you should be focusing on first thing anyway, because when you get through the quest you get those star runes and especially the early star runes give a lot of stuff. So I can show you my attributes in a second and yeah, so also pets, Phoenix and Boric I think are probably the two most important pets for questing, especially early game. So try and get your hands on them. Boric is a little bit harder because you do have to do PvP for that, but this set actually is good for PvP also. Since most people around your level probably don't have that high crit resist or crit reduction, you should be able to do quite a lot of damage on them. The stuff I have refined to 6 now, you can see, this is, um, I'm focusing on the most important things, and you can see my overall stats here, 80% crit rate and 156 crit damage. And of course, I do get some crit rate and crit damage from other places, like the star runes like I was talking about. I think that that's actually it. No, I don't think my outfit gives anything special. But yeah, like I said, pretty, pretty, pretty good set here, especially for beginners and questing and stuff like this. But yeah, once you get to higher levels, I would say you should always keep collecting the quality 26 gear. So I wouldn't smelt it if you can, if you can live without the crystals. I would try not smelting it unless you really, really need the crystals for something else. Because later in game you do want to have mostly quality 26 gear because it does come with a lot of advantages such as set bonus and, um, well, I mean, they all have set bonus, but they have better set bonuses. You can exalt orange things on them, 
which I actually just learned a little while ago from my Deathmark video, but... So, that's going to be all for today. If you like this video, then drop a like down. Ask in the comments below if you have any questions, if I missed something, if I left something out, if you're confused about anything, feel free to drop a comment. I respond to all of them within a couple of hours usually, or 12 hours depending on the time. So anyway, thanks a lot guys for watching, and until next time.